Greetings. I'm going to show you how to remove the background from an image and insert that image into a new background. Uh, for example, you may want to cut yourself out of a picture and put yourself in a different picture. So let's show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do, tap the plus button in the top right and tap draw on top of a photo. I'm going to go ahead and pick this horse here. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so now you've got the image. Now what I want to do here is get this horse cut out, put in his own image where he has a transparent background, and that way I can put him in any other background that I choose. So the first thing you probably want to do is open the brush tool. White is usually a good color to outline. You can turn the size down a little bit. Uh, it probably helps to turn on line mode so that you can kind of just tap quickly. And then basically you just want to start outlining the horse. Looks like I've got a shadow on there, so let's turn off the glow. If you ever see weird stuff like that, make sure the tint and the glow are set to transparent. And I'm going to turn that size down even more. There we go. That's looking a lot better. Go ahead and just trace this guy really fast here. Now because I have line mode on, I don't need to worry too much about picking up where I left off exactly. You doodle will just kind of do that for me. So that's great. So line mode is very handy. And it makes doing these kind of outlines a heck of a lot faster than if you were doing it all by yourself. Remember you can also long tap to get this little preview bubble, which also helps. And there, I've outlined the horse. Um, probably want to do one more thing here and outline this inner part in case you have something like this in your photo. You'll want to trace this part. And I think we've got an outline. Okay, now you may be saying, well, why didn't you use the scissors tool? And the reason I didn't use the scissors tool is because I wanted this little white outline on the horse because when you insert a picture into a new picture and you haven't done this kind of a white outline, sometimes it can look a little jagged or funny. The white outline kind of makes it stand out a little better and makes it look a little nicer. So now that you've got this outline done, go to the paint bucket tool and pick the black color. You want the complete opposite of your outline, so black is it. And now, look at that, we've removed the background. Now, in order to make this a transparent background, we have to do a few more things. The first is to tap the Layers tool in the bottom right and tap Merge to Foreground. Before I do that, I'll show you what I've got here so you can see. We've got kind of a transparent area where the horse is going to be and then this black area where the transparency is going to be for the background. So watch what happens when I merge to Foreground. <coughs> Now everything is on the foreground and what this means is I can use the paint bucket tool and I can go to the transparency and voila, transparent background. Now I forgot to fill in this part with black here so I'm going to have to manually go in with the eraser which is kind of a pain but it could be worse I guess. With this preview bubble, it should be pretty easy to just make this transparent. I'm going to make that smaller. And get see in the top left, you can see the little circle that tells you how much is going to be affected. So it's really handy when you're doing these kind of touch-up operations. You can see that little guideline circle telling you exactly what's going to get changed on your stroke. So you can go in and Fix all this up, we'll make it look nice, very precise. Okay, I think we've got it. All right, now that you have your horse or whatever photo you've picked with a transparent background, you need to save that for insertion later on. So tap that save button in the top left. And then I like to save to my sketchbook. We will call this horse Okay, now how do I get this guy into a background? Well, it's pretty easy. Tap the plus button in the top right, tap draw on top of a photo, 
go ahead and pick backgrounds. I'm going to pick a Halloween background here since it's close to Halloween when I'm making this video. And let's see, so many choices. How about this pumpkin-y guy? That looks fun. Okay, now to get the photo in, you simply tap the Layers button, tap Insert Foreground, pick Sketchbook. It looks like I already made a transparent horse the other day, so now I've got two of them. And this, instead of a horse, this could easily be yourself or one of your friends. You just resize yourself to exactly where you want to be in the photo. Tap done. And voila, you have just transferred yourself into a new background. So this is going to be awesome. Go put yourself in all sorts of famous landmarks or whatever else you can think of. Have fun with this. Please shoot me an email to support at udoodle.net if you have questions. Share your new photos where you're putting yourself in new backgrounds on Instagram and tag them with udoodle. Have a great day, everyone.